Hey guys, this is JetBlue with Dallas Jamming, and today we're going to be looking at Pittsburgh Modular's Dynamic Impulse Filter, which is a low-pass gate that creates an organic and percussive ambience on whatever is fed to it. On the top left, we have an attenuator for our dynamic CV. Next to it is the Dynamics Response knob that sets the decay time in relation to the impulse gate in Dynamic CV. The giant knob in the middle controls the center frequency of the filter when in filter mode. When in VCA mode, it controls the pass-through signal level. When in low-pass gate mode, it controls the center frequency of the filter and the pass-through signal level. To the right is a switch that lets us flick between VCA, filter, or both. The resonance knob only works when in filter mode. The impulse input is a gate or trig that can be used to strike the filter circuit and modulate the dynamics of the audio out. We have our audio in, dynamic CV in, a response out which controls the vector response that works like a gate when used with non vectoral modules, and our audio out. So let's see what this module sounds like. I'm going to send a trig into my Akemi's Tyco. Then I'm going to send audio out of my Tyco into the filter's input then out of the filter's input into my mixer. The frequency knob will oscillate at its highest setting. Let's send some pitch into Akemi's Tyco for a more melodic result. Now let's send some modulation to this thing. It really is a percussive monster. I might be pairing this up with my Tyco from now on. So that was the Dynamic Impulse Filter by Pittsburgh Modular. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below and also let me know what filters you guys are using. That's it for today guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and support us on Patreon for more tutorials and reviews. Catch you later.